Hi everyone, Melissa here, coming on today with My Creative Times 135th release, and I'm going to start out with this paper pack. Now this paper pack is a little bigger. It's called Christmas Gingers. Um, it's six by eight and a half, 24 sheets for each of six designs. And I'm just going to start out with the first page, and I'm going to kind of turn it catty corner so you can see everything and look at that I'm gonna just zoom in just the hair so you can see it all right isn't that just adorable it's holding this little sweet little ginger is holding um, like a little book as if she's gonna read and uh, you can see the little cocoa um, some cookies there um, it also has a little uh, gingerbread in the in the uh, cocoa cup just really adorable and uh, there goes that paper that's on the back side. Gingerbread cookies, um, hot cocoa, 25 cent. Um, so really cute though. Love this paper, it's just adorable to me. And there goes the back side of that one right there. And then as you can see, we have some more gingers there. Adorable. And a little heart with the icing on it. Just too cute. I love this paper, it just makes you smile. <laughs> and there goes the back side of that one. And then we have another set of gingers there with the uh, blue cups, a little cookie in hand, uh, just too cute. And you can use the, her snowballs to make the uh, chocolate chip cookies, just too cute. And then there goes the back side of that one. And then there goes uh, this color here. I'm not for sure if I showed you this one, but if I did, sorry about that. But let's turn to the next page. Oops, we didn't because there goes the back side of that. And then look at this, and if you have the uh, Christmas tree die, you can go ahead and pair some of the items that are coming up in just a second that I'm going to show you. But look at this, look at the look at the outfit, look at the outfit, <laughs> just too cute. Fa la 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 la, be merry, and Santa's helper, December 25th. All right, and then there goes the back side of that, and I think this is where we started here. Just adorable papers, just too cute. And that's called Christmas okay, Gingers. everyone, I'm going to show you all of the products that I used, as well as the projects, at uh, the same time for each day. Um, I just figured this is probably the easiest way, because I did a lot of uh, projects this time. The first day of our release, we had uh, the Christmas charms, as well as Christmas greens. And so, these are the charms. They'll have 10 charms of each. And I only use the angel and the Christmas tree, but I just wanted to show you all of the charms. And then we have the Christmas greens, and there's seven dies in this set. And I used um, just three of them out of this. I used this one, this one, and this one, but there are seven in the set. All right, the tall frame dies are what I used, and I used that third one down there. Um, actually, it was the second, uh, the fourth one down, the smaller one. And then um, from the holiday envelope, I used the envelope. And I want to say that is, oh, and I used the for you from the holiday envelope. And then from her money envelope, and I really like this envelope. I don't use it enough. Um, anyways, it's uh, quite tall. And um, I used the Merry Christmas there. All right, so I thought these turned out so beautiful. It's just so pretty. Um, I uh, did add glossy accents on top of the uh, word dies, and um, as well as the little berries on there. And then there goes that uh, charm that I put on there. I added that bow and a little bit, uh, one of the garment pins that I added on there and some gems. And then I did this pretty much the same with the other one but I added the Christmas tree on top. And I did glue the Christmas tree down in place because I wanted it to stay where I had it in place. And so there goes the glossy accents on that one. But it's a really pretty envelope that you get. And then this one is the same way. Goes down. Cute envelope. Okay, on to day two. So day two, we were to showcase the Baking Up Love set. And let me show you the stamps. Uh, that's where you got the big, bigger spoon die and the bigger rolling pin. 
die. Now this set will also come with some stamps. And let me show you those stamps. And it's called the Baking Up Love Set. And all of these will fit into the spoon. And then these will fit into the rolling pan. And you could probably put that love into the spoon as well. And uh, as well as probably that holly leaf. And then uh, you can go ahead and screenshot it, that if you'd like. And then we were also to showcase the apron stamp and dies. And this will also come in a set. So you'll get all of these and it has 13 um, dies with that. And then let me show you the stamps that'll go with that set. These are the stamps that'll go with that. And I did put some of these stamps into the spoon. Um, and you'll see that in just one moment. But yeah, so you can go ahead and screenshot that. Then we were also to use our paper pack. And here we go. And I'm just going to show you like this. This is the paper that I used with one of the apron sets. And then I also used this paper right here. And that's from the new pack, which is called Christmas Gingers. The product that I use, I use the small flower dies as well as the foliage dies. And I use this uh, die here and a couple of, of these right here for the small flower dies. I also use the tall die layers and I use the smallest one in that. XOXO border frame, I use the largest one in that and I put that in the inside of the card as well. And then from the cookie sheet tag, um, I use the smallest one as well as the layer. And then I also use the A2 Fancy frame die layers and I use, I want to say this third one down to create my topper. Or it might even be the fourth one down. The paper pack that I used was uh, dots, solids, and stripes, and that goes with the ginger chefs. And I just used the red out of that. I thought this turned out so cute. I just wanted to kind of imitate uh, like a wall that's hanging the apron and the uh, mitt. And then I also added that little uh, cookie sheet in the background, rolling pin there, put it's cookie season, <laughs> just too cute. Love that, there goes that um, XOXO border frame. And this is where I use that uh, tall frame die. There goes the inside of that one. And then I really love how this turned out here. I uh, packaged up some embellishments there. And so as you can tell, I uh, used those uh, rolling pins and then there goes the spoons. And like I said, I used some of the um, apron stamps to go on the inside of the spoon. Um, and then some of the ones that uh, went with the um, Baking Up Love set. And there goes my flowers. So I just kind of put those together. The apron, just so super cute. I attached that with a garment pin and I did use an eyelet to kind of secure that. Just love how that looks. So that's that one. Let me just say this. If you missed everything I showcase, it's because you don't follow me on Instagram. My handle over there is mo underscore creations. I'll have it go across the screen. So make sure you head over there and follow me on Instagram as well. So this time I only showed all of my uh, sneaky peeks on Instagram. And so for day three, we were to showcase the ginger boy and girl Christmas add-ons. This one has 16 in the set. We'll have for the sweet gingerbread. We also have the Sweet Gingerbread Christmas add-ons, and there's 18 in the set for that one. From the Baking Up set, I used this uh, rolling pin. The uh, It's Cookie Season right there from the stamps that went with that. Of course, I used her papers. Um, so I am using the pink, the red. Um, I want to say uh, this one here for my background, which is uh, goes with that red. And with the pink, I also use this one. It coordinates with that one. One Christmas, and I use that red for my shaker card. The Sweet Holiday Wishes Stamp and Die. Sorry, it's in the green envelope. But I use um, Wishing You a Sweet Season along with its coordinating die from her tall Christmas tree die. I use the shaker uh, part. I also used tree trunk, which is uh, goes with the Christmas tree, plus this will create those cute little presents. 
tall tag framed eyes. I used um, the layers as well as the framed eyes. The sweet ginger companion dye. The sweet ginger person to use for my gingers. Use the uh, boy and girl ginger for my cookies. And which one? I use the small snowball frame dies as well as uh, the one that's right next to it. Reinforcement uh, there, I just used the photo tag die for that little circle there. Nose. Love how that turned out. Just so super cute. I added on my own cheeks there and um, everything else I used her dies. Look at those little bunny feet. <laughs> just adorable. And then I also used from each set the uh, Sweet Ginger uh, person and the then the boy and girl I just used the bows that came with those sets and then of course that's from the baking up love set and there goes the inside of my card there that one's so adorable and then here goes the little elf holding his little Christmas present uh, just too cute and of course you can put uh, to and from on the back side of that tag and uh, I use some uh, metallic paper there and uh, yeah, I just thought that was too cute. Um, this came from her, uh, it came from the Christmas charm. And that's how I used that uh, little snowflake there. Just added it right in the back. Uh, adorable. And then here goes that shaker card that I put together. I just needed something to go across that tree and I thought a, a, a sentiment would do the job. And so that's uh, why I put that across there and love all the little shaker bits that's in there. And then there goes the inside of that one. And for the finale, the fourth and final day of the Sneaky Peaks, as you see, we have a giant ginger. Let me show you what uh, those dies look like. Okay, here goes the gingerbread dies. Now this one does not come with the, the die cuts for the face. However, she did make stamps. But anyways, let's take a look, look at that. So we have the icing for the hair, the bowl. And then um, there's the little buttons for the... Um, uh, the ginger and they're shaped like little buttons too just too cute and then of course the icing there here goes the face right here the face says i should say uh, this is the one i use this is the sprinkles for the hair and the night before christmas um which you can pop right in the book as you see i use something different and then you can also get the accessories now these two will come together but you have to purchase this one in addition to those two if you'd like to have these. And this is called the Giant Ginger Accessories. And it'll be 18 in that set. So for the book there, I use Season Everything with Love and Spoonful of Love. And of course, I use the Baking Up Love for the spoon. This paper pack here, Fun Valentine's, and I use that paper there. There we go. I added a little gem to her bow. I did her, the face in um, heat embossing. And then as the cheeks and the freckles. And that's about it. Out the pictures at the end. And make sure you visit my creative time along with all my design team sisters. Any additional links will be down below. So use those if you want to pick up some of her additional products. All right, that's all I have for you. Thanks so much, everyone. You all have a blessed and crafty day.